Welcome to the channel guys. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to claim a free trial of Shopify, granting you three days of free use where you'll have access to the entire platform and its features, as well as three additional months for the price of just $3. To find this deal, you'll just have to head over to the description and click on the link that's there. From there, you're going to find this page describing what I just mentioned, a three free day trial and three months at the cost of a dollar per month if you choose to extend your plan. And all you have to do from here is type in your email and click start free trial. Afterwards, this page will appear and you'll have to answer some questions about your experience with building a website. For those of you who are already selling online or in person, you can click on this option to migrate your site to Shopify. And if you're just getting started, then you can click on I'm just getting started. And then you go ahead and click on next. Now Shopify is asking where you want to kick off selling your stuff. If you're thinking of going for an online store, then check this off and it gets your account set up for creating your own e-commerce site. But if you've got an existing website or blog, no worries. Shopify's got your back with a feature to slap a buy button on it. And hey, if you're eyeing platforms like eBay, Amazon, or Google, hit the online marketplaces option. Shopify will hook you up with those features so you can juggle your store across different sales spots. But if you're not quite sure about all this yet, don't worry. You can tweak all of these things later on in the Shopify dashboard. Moreover, if you're doing face-to-face -face sales at a shop, pop-up market, or some real-world spot, then tick that box. And if you're planning to sync up your store with Facebook, Instagram shops, or other social media gigs, you're going to want to check that option off. Shopify is going to prep your account to groove with those channels. So whatever your choices are, you can then go ahead and hit that next button again. Now it's time to share a bit about the products you plan to offer. So you've got a few choices here. Products you personally buy or make and handle the shipping yourself, drop shipped products, print on demand items, digital products and services. If you're still unsure about the product category, you can go with all the side later and proceed to the next step. But for my store, I'm going to pick drop shipped products. And hey, if you're curious about drop shipping and want to dive a little deeper into it, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I've got a video on drop shipping coming up real soon soon and you won't want to miss out on that. And so now we're going to naturally click next. On this screen, you just want to pick the country you're selling your products from. So if this is your first time, you just pick the country from this list. But if you already have a store, whether it's online or brick and mortar, you're going to want to pick the country that you have your store located in. So if you live in Canada, but you have your store set up in the US, then you pick the US, for example. And after you've done that, you can move on. And the next screen that pops up is this one prompting you to make your own Shopify account. So you can use any of these means, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my email. So I went ahead and inputted my email and made myself a password. And now I'm going to go and click on create Shopify account. Afterwards, it's going to start generating your account and you just wait a little bit for it to do that. And finally, you'll land on the Shopify dashboard. Like I mentioned before, the free trial runs for three days as this will end on December 14th. But if you're keen on extending it to three months, look for this black window on the side and grab the first three months for just one dollar. Now you can click on select a plan right here and you'll find various plan options. Then based on the data you've provided, Shopify will suggest a plan tailored to your needs. If you're involved in Facebook, to face sales, then the retail plan might be recommended, which includes a point of sale pro location. However, if you're just kicking off, I suggest going for the basic plan as it generally covers all the essentials for starting and expanding your online store. In my case, I'm selecting the basic plan. And on the subsequent screen, you're going to find yourself on this page where you have to input your payment method, whether that's a credit card or debit card or through PayPal. You can also determine when you want to be billed, whether that's annually or monthly, of course, the payment is going to change but on the right hand side you can see through our plan right now the schedule is for the first three days until the 15th of December we don't pay anything and then from the 15th of December to the 14th of March of 2024 it's going to be a dollar per month and then afterwards it's going to renew at $39 per month. And if we click on the annual plan, then you're going to be paying $348 on the 14th of March. And then subsequently every year, that's how much you're going to be paying on this day. And so after you've inputted the correct payment information, you just go to subscribe. And just like that, it's going to take you back to the Shopify dashboard. And then you can start using Shopify any way you see fit. Start customizing the themes and you can check out what else is available on their dashboard. 
But if you want a more in-depth tutorial for Shopify, then you're going to want to stay tuned because I'm also coming out with a video for that, taking you through the whole process of making your site, setting up your store, everything from A to Z. So you're going to want to subscribe for that as well. As for this video, that just about wraps things up here. If you found it helpful, then consider hitting the like button and ask any more questions if you have them down in the comments below. At any rate, thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.